Good morning from Baghdad. That is really good. guys another airport another day we're off to a new country hello everyone again I'm here in Iraq and I'm going to be doing a new series 2023 solo female Iraq we're only gonna be here for a short time unfortunately but I'll fit in what I can but I've just come down to the downtown near the old city and um, I'm keen to have one of my favorite breakfasts ever. Even though, even though I've already had breakfast at my hotel, I just can't resist some gamer and kahi. So let's go and check it out at my favorite store. And here's the guy here. Habibi! Oh, oh good to see Hello, you! Hello, Johnny! Yeah, good to, good to see yeah. you, yes! Okay! Yes, again! Good to see you! It's just something you have to experience when you're here in Iraq is a gamer and kahi breakfast. And the boys are preparing all the dough. Looking good. Fires. Going well. Cooking all those beautiful kahi. Some here, already done. Done. And uh, let's get ourselves one. Habibi. Looking good. Let's go outside and eat this. So we eat it beside the road here. Hello sir. So that cost us uh, three, three thousand. So it's about uh, two US dollars, a bit less than two US dollars. So let's hook in. Messi, huh? Yeah? <laughs> Whoa, it's hot. It's really hot. The, the buffalo um, cream really makes it. That was super. Thank you, Habibi. Shukran. And we'll get a chai. Let's right. finish up with the chai. Yes, please. Come 
So once again, he wanted to give me a free chai. Every time I come here, I get a free chai, but this time I'm paying. So hot. Look at that, piping hot. Wow. Shukran. Now another must do when you're in this part of Al Rashid Street downtown Old City Baghdad is you must go in the 122 year old juice shop and get yourself a fresh grape juice. Honestly there's nothing much more refreshing than this juice in this heat. So it's just up the road a bit here. So let's go and uh, try it out. You can see the beautiful architecture that gradually is being done up, refurbished. Gradually, gradually being refurbished these beautiful old buildings on this street. It's gonna be magnificent when it's finished. Hopefully some of them turn into guest houses because this really is the best area to stay. Another good area to stay is Karada. So Karada or close to the old city. Here we go, the generator because there's no electricity. Isn't that outrageous? in a country like Iraq and here we go the best juice shop in town let's go in and get one Salam. hello yes thank you uh, can I have one please huh? Huh? New Zealander? Uh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Oh, that's good. New Zealand. Thank you. That is really good. Really refreshing. Nice and cold. Beautiful, healthy grape juice. And again, all the people that either mean something to the shop owner or have been here over the years. All the presidents, and now we have Saddam. All the leaders of Iraq. What's your name? Ali. Ali, nice to meet you. Are you from Baghdad? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you live in Baghdad? No. Yeah, and uh, you come to this juice shop often? Uh, sometimes. Sometimes? Okay. It's good juice, right? It's really yeah, nice. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very old. Yeah, really old. 122 years. Yeah. Fantastic. Awesome, nice to meet you. I am welcome. Thank you, Shukran. Turkman. Ah. Yeah. <coughs> so, are you um, originally from Kurdistan? Uh, originally, I am from Kirkuk, which is between Kurdistan region and the Iraqi region. It's like somewhere in the middle. Right. They still haven't figured out where to belong, really, and uh, still, uh, still work on progress. Yeah, because you need two visas, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. even yeah, though yeah. it's one country, yeah, it's yeah. two visas exactly. for, for tourists. I, I imagine for you guys, it's kind of hard to get it's, outside of the Kurdistan region to here, right? Yeah, from Kurdistan to here is difficult, but here to Kurdistan is okay. I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah. That's good. That's so you, good. you can't go to Kurdistan first. Mm -hmm. You must go to Kurdistan second. After that's federal true. Iraq. That's true. Yeah, yeah. okay. That's, what's that's your true. what's your name? So my name is Hakim. Hakim. Hakim, yeah. Hakim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Nice yeah. to meet you, Hakim. Which, which means wise. Wise? Yeah. And yeah. you and you sound wise thank too. Thank you, thank you very much. And your name? Susan. Susan. Yes. Nice to meet you. Thank you. And uh you were telling me it's your first time to Baghdad. Yeah, it's my first time to Baghdad, which is weird. 
Yeah, it's uh, really weird. You, you told me this is your third time. Yes. Uh, it's been it's been a long time coming. I I, I should have done it. Yeah, it's you should have. Yeah. You should have come. Uh, yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. anyway, you're here now. I am here now. Yeah, which feels great. Uh, just visiting the places that people recommended. So, yeah. Yeah. So far, so good. Yeah, me too. I, I love it. I love that then. You know, I wish there weren't the problems with electricity and yeah. the garbage. Yeah, there, yeah, yeah. there are many problems, but overall, Iraqi people in Baghdad is very nice. It's nice, it's rich, it has a long history. I actually just got out of the Baghdadi Museum and it was a nice experience. Yeah, I, so I want to go there today. You definitely should check it out. It's yeah. a very nice experience. It gives you that whole vibe of the old life. Old, old yeah. Exactly, yeah. Fantastic, I look forward to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Susan. Okay. It's very good. And I'm very glad to be on, on, the, on the channel of Girls on the Loose, right? Yes. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye, Ali. Bye -bye. Well, guys, a lovely couple just came into the grapefruit juice shop here and have uh, asked to pay for my juice, which is just amazing. Uh, in Iraq, there is so much hospitality, it's unbelievable. So I've just met um, Allah and Ayla. Yes? Hi, Hi Ayla. Hi, Allah. Hi. So nice to meet you and uh, enjoy your trip in Baghdad. Okay as will I because Baghdad is a great city and I uh, hope to see you again hope to see you again and welcome yeah. to Europe again hope to see you shukran okay. habibi shukran bye 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 sir see you again one day thank you inshallah shukran habibi <laughs> Well, once again, the Iraqi hospitality is uh, second to none. Second to none. I got my juice paid for, so that's really lovely. All right, let's keep walking. Here we have the Liberation Monument. We have to get across the road here and of course the police don't like to be filmed so we'll see how we go So this area, Liberation Monument, Tahrir Square, Tahrir Maiden, this area is where the protests took place and where uh, many young people were shot or beaten. Incredible monument showing Iraq through the ages. Some of the most uh, fantastic historical periods in Iraq. continue walking down this way which is towards the old city all oh, the dust in this region is really affecting me on this trip that looks pretty good doesn't it I'm not sure I should be having it as I'm heading into town though and with all that ice, looks good though. Looks really good. Oh, shawarma. Wow. 
think I'm gonna have to walk back this way. It's too much good stuff. Honestly, get yourself over here to Iraq. Solo female, walk in the streets, no problem whatsoever. You don't, you don't need a tour. You don't need a tour. If you don't have a lot of money, um, you want a backpack, you want to budget travel as much as possible, you do not need to pay for a guide and a tour. I mean, of course, having a guide and a tour has lots of advantages. You know, makes it easier. You get more local information. You know, there there are advantages. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is don't be put off by the perceived dangers if you want to travel backpack you can easy peasy all right guys so i just got a taxi from up near Tahrir down here to the old city al rashid street mudnabi street area where we're going to go for a walk um taxis here on the street about five thousand to get you anywhere around the main part of town easy as just jump in and uh say where you want to go you can hear that racket in the background that's a generator that's because the power is always going out here in iraq they've got some of the biggest oil reserves in the world but they can't even keep the lights on the government is uh, doing a terrible job. The country's falling into disrepair. More and more people that I speak to on each visit are wishing Saddam was still in charge. Uh, saying things like the roads weren't like this under Saddam. Under Saddam, the petrol was cheap. Under Saddam, we had electricity. Um, under Saddam, we had good schools and hospitals. And now, everything's gone to shit basically so very very sad to hear this and uh, unfortunately britain and the u.s have a lot to answer for and should be assisting iraq to rebuild why they can't do it themselves i have no idea uh really unfortunate but here we are at mutnavi street probably uh the most touristed street Thank you, sir. Probably the most touristed street here in uh, Baghdad. <laughs> used to be known as Book Street. There's still a lot of books on sale. And on Fridays, it's a great place for uh, readers, writers, and other creatives to hang out. They've only just finished doing it up. You can see the buildings up there looking nice. Footpaths done. Last time I was here, this was sand as they were uh, redoing it. Now we're getting down to where some books are. And there's a famous tea shop down the end here, which we'll call into and have a have a chai. Lots of books on sale, many in English, most in Arabic, of course, as you would expect. So yeah, as you can see too, very safe to get around. I mean, safety is not a concern here at all. Even solo female. I think um, Iraq will be a popular backpacker destination in a couple of years. It's certainly one of the cheaper Middle Eastern countries to come to. Accommodation is still pretty pricey. There isn't really a guest house budget backpacker hostel scene at all. Um, the cheaper hotels are rather dirty and shambolic. So staying in a mid-range one. You're looking at about 70 to 80 dollars a night cheaper ones are about 40 or 50 dollars a night but that's about as cheap as there is and they're not good at all of course uh the nicer hotels like ratana go up to two or three hundred us dollars a night but you really don't get value for that money either the standard of hotel here 
is much lower than in many other countries, in particular in the Middle East. <sighs> All right, we're getting close to the uh, tea shop. My favorite tea shop. Everyone's favorite tea shop who's been to Baghdad. Walking the streets here is just a fantastic experience. Down there is the Tigris River and the statue of Mutnabi straight ahead. But I've really got to get a cup of tea first. It's very hot today. Nice juices. Oh, some strawberry juice would be nice. Strawberry and banana I see he's got there. Maybe when I come out from having my tea. All right, here's Shibanda tea shop. Salam. How are you? Good to see you again. All right. Even though these tea shops, huh, it's quite normal for women to frequent. 90% of the time it's men. So we'll go and tell the lads we want some chai. Chai, Habibi? Yes, of course. Thank you. You're welcome. Love chai by Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, nice. Some English? Oh, where can we sit? I guess maybe here. Salam. Sir, Salah. Such an interesting cafe. All the people that have visited here over the years, the famous people from the times. Let's go for a walk down to Mutnabi. Iraqi poet Mutnabi, who was actually his own undoing. He was so vain that in the end he thought he was better than the ruler, so he was done away with. All right, and down here we have the Tigris River. <coughs> yeah. I've already asked a couple of taxis, but um, the taxi drivers here in Baghdad have no idea about the hotels in Baghdad. They can never find a hotel. Actually, they don't know their city very well at all. And when you can't speak Arabic, it can be quite difficult to get where you want to go. Even with the hotel's card, they can't seem to figure out even in which direction they're supposed to go. Even though I've got Google Maps on and I'm telling them the suburb, they still go in the wrong direction. just jumped on a minibus to try and get in the vicinity of where my hotel is so these minibuses just ply the, the road just straight down um, so it can be helpful to get you where you want to go this one 
Melbourne's not very full, so that's nice. The streets are just a cacophony of uh, racket, basically. So much noise out there. And it's so hot. There's also a bit of a dust storm today. Weather's not the best. But every item you can think of is for sale in these markets. for the whole route. Right, uh, I think we'll sign off here. It's so bloody noisy. Shanashiel Hotel. Shanashiel. Karada. Karada? Yeah, Karada way. Ah, uh, no. This side Karada. Ah, uh, Hamsa. Yeah, that's right. Shukran. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Yalla. Okay, I'll use my phone to get us directions. Alright, we made it back to the hotel, 5000. I used GPS on Google Maps. It's really important to have a SIM card here. Taxis don't know any hotels, don't know any places, even Mutanabi Street, the most famous street, and Al Rashid, uh, they have trouble. So uh, definitely pays to have a SIM card. Definitely my choice of accommodation here in Baghdad is Sharnashil Hotel, and this is after three visits to the city, so I know it pretty well. Um, rooms are good, it's a little bit pricey, Breakfast is great, staff are superb. Uh, location, not the best, but you pretty much need a taxi every time you go anywhere in Baghdad anyway. And it's still just 5,000 dinar to the city or to a mall or wherever it is you want to go. So Shana Sheil it is for me. Anyway, thanks for watching this first vlog in the new Iraq series. And we'll catch you in the next one where Girls on the Loose.